the standard of Ur. A Sumerian artifact about getting drunk and stabbing people 5,000 years ago. One side was about peace and some kind of lovely ritual procession. The other side was in no way about that shit and was really more about stabbing. It was discovered by this guy, Leonard Woolley. Here's Leonard Woolley, just completely tired of your shit. Here's Leonard Woolley a little bit older, even more tired of your shit. Here he is, old as fuck, and just entirely done with your shit. He was excavating the city of Ur, which was right here. And it was glorious. They had pits, and they got in them, and found stuff. Like a death pit, where people were ritually sacrificed to follow their queen into the afterlife. Oh, and they've totally found the standard of ore too. We got a huge guy and some tiny dudes. This guy's head is so big that it's breaking the ceiling. That's because he's the king. And he's got a goat leg coming out of his butt. And these guys are over here just busting out these sweet moves. And drinking all of the beer that they can handle. Ooh, what's this? Is that a musical liar? Perhaps one that looks a bit like this. Ooh, Willie's got one. How did that happen? Well, like most people's love lives, the wood had long ago rotten away, leaving a depression. Willie filled that depression with plaster, and now he's serenading us all with sweet Sumerian liars, just like this guy. Moving on, here's a guy fondling a goat's butt, and it's time for the ritual procession. Well, these guys are pretty nice. They're bringing a whole cow, and he's got the hookup on some fish. But hey, my dude, what are you doing? I mean, I get that you're holding your hands in a gesture of prayer, but this man, he's bringing all his goats. I mean, it's so many goats. He will have no goats left after this. And meanwhile, you're over here just offering up thoughts and prayers. This type of behavior would be known in the ancient land of Sumer as a dick move. Moving on, this goat is smelling the cow's butt. All is good. Well, except for him just not having a head. That's a bummer. Well, as you can see, everybody except for a few assholes was carrying a bunch of stuff to be sacrificed to the gods. But of course, eventually, everybody got too drunk and decided it's time to stab some people. And stab they did in style. First, they invented the wheel so that they could create stabbing platforms. Horses hadn't been invented yet, so they had ferocious battle donkeys. Notice that there are four of them in a row but only one peen between them all. Is it possible that it belongs to all four of them at the same time? Is it possible that they are big dick energetically aligned? Moving on, we have a child soldier. That's just fucked up. But ooh, what's this? It's the big guy again. Of course, no king is going to miss out on stabbing people. It's what kings do best. He's got all his best buddies gathered around to stab together. I mean, look at these guys. They're so excited. By the way, coincidence? I think not. Oh, and here it is. They found somebody to stab. This is a bad position for my dude on the bottom to be in. He's about to be stabbed in the butt. This guy already seems to be covered in stab wounds, but at least he still has his peen. And we've got more stabbing platforms. How lovely. Well, this guy doesn't think it's that lovely. In fact, he seems distinctly unenthused. Always remember, getting stabbed by Sumerians is how you end up in a death pit. If you can avoid it, don't get stabbed by Sumerians.